Great. Welcome, family. Greetings, greetings to all of you. Peace and blessings. Peace. We'd like to um, thank you for coming. Thank you for your patience. And as always, we'd like to um, open up um, with, uh, with prayer. So we'd like to call our Dr. Asari to open us up officially with prayer, a moment of silence, whatever you choose. Dr. Asari, please. As usual, let's breathe in deeply and connect ourselves to our Creator. And let us affirm that our great energies that are present here with our thoughts as pure Africans guide us through us all our deliberations and lead us to perfect success in what we are passing. Okay, so again, we want to um, welcome you. For those of you that made the journey, welcome home. We know it's not easy, but we know you're strong. We know your DNA. We know that you are gods and goddesses, and you're taking your rightful place in the right place, Mother God. My name is Brother David Jawara. I was blessed by the Holy Creator, we call Yah Yahwa, to leave America in 1986. And I didn't look back. And by the blessing of the Most High, I consider myself um, in heaven, in Africa, Ghana. I've gone from what I consider rags to riches. I've left the the land of the so-called promise and living in the promised land. And you can do the same. If you're here for the first time or second time or if you're here all the time, I want you to know that nothing can stop you. I went from having nothing in America to owning land, growing food, building houses, building a community, helping Brother Bumani with these conferences to assist you with what I do, and that is taking my rightful place as the new world owners, having dominion. We're supposed to have dominion over this planet. We don't supposed to be dominated. So we want you to know that this is a family reunion that you have come to, and you are going to be motivated to take dominion in righteousness. Because the people that rule this world don't rule necessarily with guns and bombs. They rule with their mind. Okay? So I want to thank Brother Bumani. I met him in 2006, Brother Bumani. We've been working together. 15 strong. 15 strong years connecting the dots. Out here, 35 strong in Ghana. And we are moving full speed ahead to free this continent from all of the ism and schism and ignorance stuff that goes on here. Africa will not be free until we free it. Okay, we cannot depend on the Chinese, the Europeans, and the Indians, and the Asians. We have to take our rightful place and free this, this continent. And it's going to take more than talk. It's going to take us awakening to the reality that we are gods and goddesses, and we're going to have to start acting and, and, and really believing that we are who we are, we were created to be, and be those people. So, I would like to bring on my great brother that I just introduced to say a few words. Brother Bumani, would you please come and share what you have to say. Let's welcome our brother. Hi, right, greetings, uh, family. Bon money time here. Family, welcome to the Journey of a Lifetime and welcome to our Repatriation Investment Conference. And this is our 20th uh, version over the last 15 years. I literally met David in 2006. And I literally met you at the conference and we right. organized. Right. That, you know, that I didn't know you like that. And we built from there. So, you know, we always here to show folks how, you know, us brothers and sisters and us as a people can work together because a lot of times people think it's a myth and things like that. It may take some work, but uh, we make it happen. I live uh, in uh, Georgia and David lived here in Ghana. And we work on this for 15 years over a period of time. And what we have also built and from the foundation of our business conference, we built an energy to connect our community called Black Star Pan-African Community. And that is a community that we have uh, 15 acres of land that we have set to where the members that invested, invested their money 
literally have plots in the, the community and they're gonna build in the community and we're gonna literally just work together as a people to just do black cooperative economics to the highest level and put our money together and compete with, uh, with the other folks that's coming into Ghana that are not like us, uh, you know, stolen Africans or Africans returning. You know, they're basically invaders coming to this bit of stronger hold. Uh, so it's up to us as a people to connect our resources together as much as possible and compete. That's, I'm, I'm one of the people that, since I, was, I grew up in Jamaica, that's one of the things that was triggered in your mind, you know, whether it's uh, running track and field or playing soccer, you know, two of my favorite sports, uh, things like that that motivate you to get into other things. So sometimes people think we just kick and ball and running. You know, it motivates you, to, it builds a mentality. And that mentality is stand with me to the test of time from military days to this now out here connecting us to Africa, which is very rough. So I'm always telling us as a people, when you see those of us out here doing certain things, give the best level of support. Because a lot of times it just folks just be throwing knives in your back and doing all kind of wicked stuff just because they think that, you know, they just think things that they don't know. This is a rough journey. There's no people out there that get up every day and work on this as far as bringing us together and connecting us to Africa. Because once we come to Africa, if we just feel like we're just gonna run away from the rest of us, uh, it's not gonna happen because you can see generations of Indians here. I was in uh, Tanzania, Zanzibar Island. Generations of Indians there just running business enterprise to the highest level, just doing their thing. And you know, so I look, when I see other people all over the world doing certain things, I look at us as a people, the stolen Africans that's returning and say, hey, you know, let's put our resources together, look out for each other. And I got one of my good brothers here uh, from Jamaica, I just met. I say he's my good brother because the energy was good vibes. So a lot of times when we're out here networking, like when we create these events and create these uh, programs, come on, network, introduce yourself to people, connect as a people, that way we can work together. A lot of times we have a, by the time we get here to the African continent, we have already have more in common than anything else. Because you have to think about the people who, who, who don't make it and never come this far. The level of sacrifices and things that we have to make. So that's what our community is about. That's what our investment group is in, about. And that's what all the things that we do literally are about, uh, just building strong. So. In about two days, you're going to be able to see our community, Black South Pan African community, and I'm proud of what we have built. Someone else may say, hey, you know, a group of white folks uh, put their money together and they have a whole estate in two years. I'm like, that's fine, that's a group of white folks. You know, we're, we're a group of folks in the we get to know each other, put your money together. That's something powerful. You hear people like uh, Dr. Amos Wilson, Blueprint for Black Power, talk about these things. But then, you know, and you hear uh, conscious energy of us around the world talk about these things, but then put them together in a practical mind. It's literally just a whole different world and things that, and that's what we've been able to do and we have not been able to do it without any struggle. So I'm reaching out to my brothers and sisters out there and saying, stop the backstabbing and the backbiting and stop the hating and things like that. And for people who won't feel like they should do things, get out there and do it. You know, don't wait till someone like myself do it and then you just throw stones all day long and talk about, well, you should do this, you should do this. Well, why don't you lead and do it and do it the way you need to do it. You know, so I'm really proud of us as a people, the one, especially the ones of us who made it. I know some of us could have easily said, hey, you know what, I'm not going to make it. You know, all kind of things they got going on, new guidelines to travel in and out of countries and things like that. But um, it's what it is, um, you know, like, you know, for those who, you know, are military minded or military people, yeah. it's, the world is just, it's, it's casualties. You got, you know, when you when you fight in a war, you have casualties, you know what I mean? You just, you know, you, you pick that flag up and keep yeah. on marching ahead. And that's what we're doing. And, so you asked me, how do you do some of this stuff? I was like, you know, what choice do I have? Do I want my son to go to be a slave of Asians and Indians and white folks and other people around the world? And we could be masters of our destiny by literally just, just getting out here and competing. And the only thing I say beyond that is, we just literally have to just use each other's energy because that's what it takes to keep it going. That's right, so a family. Appreciate everybody joining. We're going to take a light intermission. I'm going to add the mic so we're going to be able to get our speakers to talk. All right. Okay. All right, so perfect. Okay, let's give Brother Bumani a round of applause. Absolutely. None stopping. So at this time, we'd like to, as I said earlier, this is a family reunion, and we got to make sure that um, we identify, you know, the family that's here. So starting with the um, with Bumani's mic, I'd like for you to just briefly introduce yourself, your name, and, um, you know, yeah, very briefly. We want everybody to um, yes. Mm -hmm. Greetings. 